Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop again today. Today, uh, oh we got that fillet knife shipped off, it's all done. Uh, today we're going to do a little experimenting. Uh, I want to fill these scales in with some colored epoxy. Fill in these fractal burns, these scales we made the other day, they've been, uh, these are the ones we tried to dye black and it didn't work because we had the wrong dye, we had that alcohol ink. I've ordered some uh, alumilide dye that should work well with these, so, um, but we've already done these, so uh, where they've already been cooked and stabilized with, throughout with resin, uh, we wouldn't be able to get any more resin to soak into them, so, but I'm going to use these for another project, so we're going to do a little testing and a little uh, experimenting with some of our colors and things on some different pieces of wood and see what we can come up with. I need to come up with a nice green color for these. I'm not sure if I want to do uh, an opaque green that you can kind of see through and see the black. I think that would look pretty good. Or if I just want to do um, a pearl green that you won't be able to see through it, but it's a really pretty color. But I don't have any pearl green, but I do have some green dye and some white pearl that I could mix together. So we're going to experiment a little bit and see what happens so thanks for being here everybody i sure appreciate y'all watching and uh, let's get after it Alright guys, so we've taped a little piece of parchment paper down here, we've got our scales here. I'm not going to start right out with these because if the color doesn't work the way I want it to or whatever, I think we're going to do a little test on this one that we annihilated the other day. Um, we've got all these pearl colors, um, some very nice colors, but no green. But we do have a pearl white in that. And then of course I've got, I think this says rainforest green right here. Um, we've got our uh, two part epoxy here. So I guess there's really not much to do other than mix up a little of this epoxy and um, see what we've got. Wow, that's got a, a weird little thing down in there that I didn't expect. Okay, so we'll we're not going to need a lot of this stuff, so I don't want to get too carried away. And actually, um, I don't think I'm even going to waste two cups on this stuff. I don't know what these little red deals are in here, but they're really in there and they're kind of a pain in the butt, and I'm not putting them back. I think maybe they're just for measuring or something. Uh, so I'm not going to put them back in there. My brother has used this a little bit. I have not. So I believe I can just equal this out here. see um, I'd kind of rather have a little bit more hardener than uh, 
resin. So we'll save a cup. So let's see. Um, So here's the green, I believe. Rainforest green, they call that. Now we'll just mix up a little of that first because we can always add the other color if we want to. And that There's two drops in there. That looks more blue than green to me, but um, yeah, that's that's not really very green. That look at the does that look green to you? It looks blue to me. I mean, that's blue is blue. which I don't really understand. Uh, hmm. Let me see. Do I have a yellow in here? I do, I have sun bright yellow. So we can, I mean, that is not green. It's called rainforest green, but I'm sure you can see it even on camera. That stuff is as blue as can be. So, we'll mix a little bit of yellow in. And see if we can't come up with some green here. about three drops of that in there and let's see what that does to it okay that looks more like it's trying to be a little greener we're still not looking as green as we should I mean that's blue. It's pretty, but it's not green. Five more drops of the yellow. Wow, guys, <laughs> I know I'm not colorblind, but that is still not green. That is still kind of an aqua blue looking color. So let's get some more yellow in there, I guess. This really needs to be green because there's six more drops of the sun bright yellow. This really needs to be green because uh, what I'm going to use these scales for is my friend Bob up in Washington who has ordered uh, a couple of knives from me. Uh, if you've watched my earlier videos, you can see the making of those knives. One was a really beautiful show knife that we polished to a mirror shine, and the other was just a clip point. A uh, camp knife that we made him so he could take it camping. Now that's starting to get a little more green. Uh, I think we're going to put just a little bit more yellow in there because we're still not getting it as green as I believe it should be. 
there's four more drops of yellow so we have a total of five six like probably 12 drops or more no more than that of yellow in with that blue to attempt to get this stuff to green up here We want it, if we're going to do it this way, we want it to stay kind of a nice opaque, you know, I want to kind of be able to see through it. Okay, that's starting to look pretty green. Let me grab a paper towel. That there is looking pretty green. So I think we'll pour a little bit of this in. Um, boy, I don't know. Still looks awful. Still looks awfully blue green, doesn't it? Let's put a little more yellow in it. I mean, I want it to be green. I'm going to put four more drops. So I don't know, we've probably got a total of maybe, I haven't really been keeping track, but probably 15 or 20 drops of yellow in there with only, I think, what did we put, four drops of the blue maybe, something like that, I can't remember now, but it wasn't very many. Okay, this is starting to possibly look like a little more of a, maybe an emerald green, I would guess. So, the end of the stick is looking kind of green. So I'm going to turn this off for a second, uh, I have to run upstairs and grab something, I'll be right back. Okay folks, so we're back, I had to run up and grab my heat gun. Uh, and just a little FYI, this isn't paint, this is, um, this stuff is alcohol ink. So I used it on the river bar, it worked, it worked well in that resin. So let's just pour a little of this into this piece here. Again, this is just a this is just a throwaway piece. Um, so we're not worried. in there to me right now uh, so with the burned look turn this bad boy up With the burned look of that wood, I don't believe an opaque, I don't believe an opaque see-through is going to matter. That just looks like clear resin 
in a burnt piece of wood, if you ask me. Um, and that's what I was wondering. So, so that's not really what we're in the market for. I really want it to look blue. I mean green. So let's see. Now this is our, um, this is pearl powder. And this here is pearl white. Same color as my pickup. So uh, we're going to put a little bit of that in here with this green. And again, this is all experimental. I've, I haven't experimented with any of this stuff as of yet. So let's mix this pearl in here. Oh, now that is looking more like it. I don't know if you all can see how that's looking down in there, but uh, but it's looking pretty pearly, if you ask me. Still not quite as green as I would like for it to be. Dump a little pearl right in this end here. Now that is a little more visible, I think. Oh, definitely. Pearl uh, really makes it more really makes it more visible. The green, just the, the opaque, you can see just looks dark because it's dark behind it. But you put it here and you can see the pearl. But I don't think it looks more pearl white than pearl green. I don't believe we have enough green color in our resin. So this may take uh, some trial and error, a little bit of, uh, you know, I mean you can definitely see the pearl in there, but the color is definitely not green enough. So. There's five full drops of blue. And another 15 drops of the yellow. Because we already know it takes a lot of yellow to mix with that blue to make it look greener. Oh boy. Well, it's definitely... It's definitely got more uh, depth to it. But we're kind of still... Uh, where I put that blue in there, now we're still looking at a, quite a blue color. So we're going to need several more drops of the yellow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15 more drops of the yellow. Let's see if that green stings up. I think we got a nice little amount of pearl in there, but I think our pearl is fine. But I still, well, that's got a nice green color to it. So, That's a lot greener than the other was. Hey, I think we might have, we may have hit the jackpot here. That's actually starting to look pretty green in there, but holy smoke, it really took a lot of yellow to get us here, but that's getting to be a lot more, you know, of the green along the green color that we're looking for. All right, guys, so either our camera froze or I forgot to hit record or I don't know what happened, but we got the tape dam around these uh, to keep them, to keep our epoxy in. Now we're going to hit this with a heat gun. Make sure we have no bubbles in there. Wow, I was wanting to melt my tape. So anyway, I don't know how much of that you did or didn't see uh, because of the ridiculous camera not ever wanting to work right. Uh, I've got to really do something about that. It keeps cutting off. It freezes up when I'm trying to record sometimes. And, and uh, sometimes it's things that I can re-record like an opening or a closing, but other times it's things that there's nothing I can do about it. They're just, not, it's lost. So um, anyway, we got a nice green color here. Okay, now I believe you can see a little better. Look how pretty, almost an emerald green uh, with that, with the um, pearl white mixed in. I think that's really going to pop when these are done. So you see my mad scientist ways here. Now you can buy pearl green and you can buy regular green uh, well the stuff I'm I've ordered some stuff and it's uh, alumilite dye that's supposed to work a lot better with these sort of things so um, but for this set here, I kind of need to get them done because I'm going to do a knife here really quick and I need these scales. And these look really nice. So I think that's going to work out okay. But uh, the reason why these scales didn't turn black when we uh, stabilized them with the, sta with the cactus juice in the uh, vacuum chamber was because that was the ink. It's uh, it's alcohol ink. It doesn't really mix well with the cactus juice, which is funny because it does a good job with this. So I don't know. It's kind of strange, but um, at any rate, 
uh, yeah, I think those are going to look fantastic. Once this resin is cured, I just love that green color in there. I mean, that's beautiful. And you see where we've got a little green on our wood here? So, like I say, it's better to have too much than not enough because this stuff will kind of shrink and soak into the wood a little bit. And we don't want it to really be low. So, there it is. I think, I think those are going to look great. Well, all right, guys. I just wanted to throw up a quick little video about uh, and show you how we mix up that resin and what have you. So where there's a will, there's a way. I didn't have any true green. That, that alcohol dye said that it was rainforest green. It was actually, you know, Caribbean blue is what it looked like. It was as blue as these, these lights up here. So we had to add a bunch of yellow to it. Um, and then it was still against the darkness of the wood. Uh, it was still too, too light. It just looked like clear epoxy in there. So... So then we mixed our pearl with it and it came out really nice. You can still see the darkness of the burn in the wood but yet you can, you can definitely tell that it's green inlay so that's going to be very pretty. Anyway, thanks for being here y'all. Get out to your shop and do something, make something, break something, fix something or just hang out and look at your stuff, uh, whatever it is you want to do. So uh, always be safe when you're in your shop. Take care of yourselves, everybody, and we'll see you soon on the next one.